Okay, in this project we'll be uh, designing a birthday flyer. Uh, we're going to use Google Slides to create uh, this birthday flyer. This example would look like. I'll show you that you have a copy of it to, sh to look at any time you want to. So I'll choose Escape. And so you're actually first log into um, Skyward, of course. And I'm only showing this for A1, but it's the exact same thing for A2, okay? So um, what you can do, I've shown you before, you have the three options, calendar, you have this modules down here, or you actually can view the to-do list. I like the calendar because I can see when things are due. And you can see the birthday flyers due on Friday. So I can click that link or I can click on the words there and actually take the assignment. So it says you were to use this blank Google slide to create a birthday flyer. Uh, this is the project. This project is the tutorial so you're learning how to do things. So I want you to follow along with it, me um, pretty uh, closely to be able to create a flyer that's very similar to this. So you are going to create a birthday flyer to start with. And then the next project is the extension project where you get to, of course, use Google, Class, Google Slides again to create what a flyer you would like to. Okay. And so you'll click on this link when you actually start the flyer. But I want to explain some things. So... This idea of this, um, this is the core, this is the idea I want to go across. So we are using Google Slides and not starting in Photoshop because I want to get across this point to you. Because graphic design, you can see, is the idea of graphic design is not dependent on using a computer. And also, graphic design does not have to be done in Photoshop, parentheses Photoshop. So you can do graphic design in many different ways. The computer and Photoshop are just tools to help you create your designs. So in this class, we will be working in Photoshop um, more than other things. But I first want you to understand that graphic design can be done in many different ways. You can cut out pieces of paper and paste them down. You can do uh, graphic design using paint. You can actually use um, graphic design in many different ways. Okay like drawing out things on a sheet of paper. So you can actually use graphic design in many different ways. So I'm going to go back and this is an example that we're doing in Google Slides. Again, you're creating this example tutorial with me. Then the next project we'll do next week is actually the extension where you get to create whatever kind of flyer you'd like to. Okay. So we've gone back to this assignment. We're going to click on this link. It will take you to this, um, this assignment here. And so you have this example to show you it's exactly like this example. So that way you can see it at any time you want to. Um, and then you have this is a, basically a, your blank canvas, blank a slide to start with. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go to this. If it shows up with this information here, you just click and drag and it, highlight it, and then you can delete it. Okay. So you can delete that way. So we have to first start with, because we look here at the example, this is a little bit different size than this, okay? So we knew as need to go down to page setup. And right now we just show custom. And this is 11 by 8.5. And, and that's basically a sheet of paper. Oh, not zero, point five. Okay, so a standard sheet of paper is 11 by 8.5 by 11. And so we're just turning on the side, so make it 11 by 8.5, okay? So that makes it actually that size there. And so that way, when you print it out, you always have to keep in mind, like, how your end product is going to be uh, printed out, or if it's on a you know, web or something like that. But if we're printing this out, we need to actually make it a, a standard sheet of paper size. So that's why we made 8.5 11, okay? So you always have to keep that in mind when you're actually doing your um, designs, Okay. So first, what we're going to start with actually choosing the background color. So I chose this kind of light blue here. So you've done. Um, I want to show you some. And this is going to get into uh, like color contrast things when you actually have a background color and text on top of it. Say if I chose like a <clears throat> a yellow color, this bright yellow color, and say I want to choose some text on it to make a text box on it but maybe the text that I'm putting on here I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to put that as maybe a really 
light yellow. It's very hard to see. Like you almost cannot see that text. Even if I make, make it larger here, I make the text larger. It's still really hard to see. I can make it 18, like even 48. It's still really, really hard to see. You kind of have to squint a little bit and you're like, okay, what does it say there? So that's the importance of actually choosing the right color to have contrast to be able to see what your information is, right? <clears throat> so I'm going to delete that. I'm going to go back and choose the correct background color that we want to make it more of like a birthday color, you know, birthday celebration. So I choose this blue here. Um, again, it's not super important you do the exact same thing. I want you to stay very close to this, you know, uh, since this is a tutorial. The extension is where you get to use your um, creative ability to create whatever fly you want to. But you want to choose uh, this color blue here. And so we're going to start with actually finding some different images. So we're doing, if we're doing the design process, we do the thumbnail sketch and decide like, okay, what kind of fly are we going to do? What are we going to look like? So we've actually done that step. So this is more of that rough layout stage or the presentation layout is now we've actually done the research. We know exactly what images we want. So say like it's a birthday flyer, so we probably want a birthday cake, stuff like that. So we're going to choose different images we can use to actually start creating our flyer. So this is the presentation layout. It's basically anytime you're working in the computer or Photoshop or anything like that, it's a presentation layout. So I'm going to start with actually choosing the insert here, image, and then uh, search the web. So this is uh, where we're going to do. So we're going to start with a birthday cake. Yeah, I think. And you want to make sure and use um, the background it has to be transparent like this. So if I choose an option, or an image there, that doesn't have a, let's see if this one does. Yeah, that actually does have a background. It's Y there. Let's say I should choose like, like for instance, like we choose like a regular picture. You're not going to choose this picture, right? It's, just, it's, it's square like this. And so you need to have that, all the background is actually transparent so I can see the blue around it. So it just shows up the picture of the image of the birthday cake. So a lot of times clip art and not a real picture is actually easier because the picture is just square here. So the clip art is usually the best. Um, best way to create different images like this okay so i think we actually choose um i choose a star also choose a star and then a, a musical note i think and i think i used um this note right here and i think i used this note right here too yeah those two notes here so again, I'm going to make all these smaller. Of course, they're not going to be big like this. It's going to be small. Again, this is also this is something I kind of um, didn't go for. If you're using the top and the bottom, it's going to squish your things. You see how it squishes that birthday cake? And so this looks weird, right? So I'm going to undo both of those. So if I'm resizing this to keep the same height and width proportions, and I'll talk about this a few different times in this class, Grab the corners. This is the same whether you're in Photoshop or any kind of uh, graphic design software. Grab the corners of the box and it will resize your image and keeps the same proportions. Same thing with the star. Grab that and go over here. And the musical note. Okay. I'm going to make the birthday cake a little bit bigger actually. Let's put it right here. And make it a little bit bigger. There we go. So this star and the musical note are also going to be small here. What I did, I'm actually, I'm not going to go over the entire thing, but this example here, I've just copied the, the musical note, like this one musical note, and this other musical note, and the stars. I just copied them. So you just go to yours, and I click copy. And then I go and choose paste. So I have another star here. And then make it, make it a little smaller. And if I wanted to rotate them, like these are some of these are rotated a little bit, you know. I would rotate them too much because if you go rotate it like too much, then it looks a little bit off. It doesn't look like a musical anymore. So I would keep that more like 
uh, like almost vertical, but just kind of like a little bit off. It creates a little bit kind of feeling to it. So the same thing with these. So any one of these images, you can rotate a little bit. Okay, so I would just make them smaller, right? On this example, I just made it smaller. Um, and then we just added the musical note and stars. Okay, I think the last thing we added uh, was the... Let's see, I'm referring to this again. Oh, the balloons and the streamers. Okay, so I think we added a... See, I spelled it wrong. Yeah, it could have been. Oh, and I think I used a clip art because clip art is these are actually actual pictures of it, and it's hard to use those. So I'm going to use the clip art version, um, and I used uh, like this one right here. So this one, um, I'm going to actually make it bigger, of course, but I'm going to actually grab the corners. So this, we're not disorient too much. So sometimes that would be too much, but this one. I'm not storing it a lot, so I'm just making a banner, like uh, a little banner is going up above like this kind of thing. And this is something also that I'm going to actually talk about. This is actually the order of upper, or the order of things. So right now this banner is on top of the, the musical notes, but if I want the banner on, on the bottom, I right click and choose order and choose send it back or, or send backwards. So if I choose send backwards, there's like this image, the musical note, the birthday cake, that are all different layers, basically. And so I can actually put it in between, or I can put it all the way to the back. And that's what I'm going to do is put it all the way to the back. So it's all to back, all the way to the back. And so now I can actually select that musical note and move it around. Because before, I would only select the banner. And you can see here, like, if I, if I change that and make it go to front, then I can't select the musical note because I'm only selecting the banner, right? So I have to make the banner go to the back before I can select that musical note. If I want to just bring it down here, of course I can just select it down here because the edge of the image is only right here. So I can select the musical note anytime. But like the star, it would not be selected. It would be able to be selected. Okay. Um, what else do we have? Balloons there. Okay. So let's actually use the balloon. Yeah, balloon clip art. And uh, I like this one here, the group of balloons. I'm just dragging on to here. And so I can just, you know, these balloons, I just copied it. I made two groups of balloons. Place. I can make this one a bit larger. So I go over there. And I can make this. See, I can't select it. I have to make sure the order is right. So where's the cake? And I can bring that to the front. Or I can uh, bring that to the back. You want to do. So that way. And I don't want things to go off the edge there. So I'm going to crop them. I'm going to right click and say crop. And I can crop this out. A little bit right there, yeah, and I'll crop this over here. So I'm just showing you some things like maybe I'll then take this and crop it as well. So I can crop that out. Um, so the last thing we're doing is um, adding. We oh, have some streamer thing. Yeah. Um, I don't like this these streamers here because I've made that streamers. Then um, those streamers, there's too much going on. It's I can't see what I'm doing there because even if I put that in the back, I'm not gonna be able to see. There's too much going on. It's too busy, right? So I kind of like these streamers here. Then this is actually just streamers that allow you to s kind of show stuff on the side there, but then still allow some. Uh, Things to happen in the middle where your text is going to be. Yeah, maybe go up a little bit. So I'm distorting this a little bit, but not too much. Yeah. Uh, I'll make this go here. 
Yeah, so that way at least I'm ruined here for my text and everything. So the last thing we're going to do is add some text there. So I just made a text box here. And I would actually, it's a little easier at the beginning if you just make it centered and say like, what do we say there? Um, come celebrate my birthday. So you just type in your text. And then just make my birthday there. And then um, if I select the box, that selects all the text. And so I can make that, um, I like the permanent marker, and maybe make it like 48 or something. So that your text box has to be big enough for the, the text. Otherwise, it groups them all together. So, and you can grab any one of these corner, these like little dot here, and rotate it a little bit. So that rotates it, and I can move that. So if I select in the middle, it just gives me a cursor, and I can't move the text here. But if I select the box, then it allows me to move that that text. Okay. Um, then, like, say, I will move that up a little bit more. Then make a, make another text box and say like we actually added some different things. And you can make it all this one thing here. You can actually make it all. Um, so you can just say like, you know, Amy's birthday party, like this. And I think I underlined it. So you're gonna click on the box that selects all the text. Let's just make it bold. Let's make it like 18. Then I can make it unlined. And let's say I want to choose a different font. Uh, let's say I choose kind of like a playful font kind of thing. I like um, eh, permanent marker too. Yeah, I like this one, Gloria Hallelujah. It's kind of fun. So I may can make that a little bit large too. Okay, 24. So I can actually make it all separate text box, or I can make it the uh, all the same. Whatever you want to do there, it's fine. So like, maybe you can just put where and when and the same thing. So where is twelve hundred uh, and see, I'm making it the same text box. I can go to when and then like. Uh, September 19th. Okay, like that. Or if I want to actually, you know, highlight it all and then make it um, centered, you know, something that's centered there. And then I can click in the box. And I can make all of it like the same kind of font, you know. And then I made it 28, I think, 28 or something like four. So it's a little bit scrunched. Uh, let me make it longer so it doesn't uh, go. If the text box is not big enough, it just uh, will actually go to the next thing here. Will actually indent, I guess, or just, you know, actually go to the next thing. So that's a good thing. I like it. It's a little bit light there because the text is, it doesn't read too well. And so I can make it bold so it actually going to stand up a little more. So. So I can rotate it. This one, if I actually could rotate it all separately, or I can rotate it, you know, all together like this. Uh, with text, I would probably tend to keep it more like vertical, you know, not like if you're too skewed like this. It's going to be like you're going to be angling your head the whole time. And so you don't want your audience to have to do that. So you're going to keep it more like, uh, say, like this. And then uh, rotate again like this. Okay. So yeah, it's not the exact same as my example of here, but it's close. Okay. And so when you spend this time and actually make that, uh, you know, uh, spend this time and make it really nice. Okay. And at the very end, you'll actually just click. Uh, this has a button right here that says "Turn In," and then it will get your assignment and where I can actually create it. Okay. And that finishes this assignment.